Hey guys, what's up? And, uh, where is it? Yo, welcome back to another video of the Scuffed Iron Man series. In the last episode, I was just grinding out a bunch of bandos, and it took us about 100 something, or like 199 kills, or almost 200 kills, to finally get this, what I'm wearing right here. No, well, not the entire outfit, but let me get up to the roof first. But we got the, oh, Genie? Oh, that's for someone else. Lucky. But I got the bandos chest plate. The highest or one of the second highest strength bonus top you can have in the game, basic my new best in slot chest plate. It's a little less in defense than the barrows, but you get plus four strength, and it's just cool. I could have got the fighter torso a long time ago, but you know, this is the face or the chest of RuneScape, and it looks just looks super cool. But anyway, we're still gonna continue the grind for Slayer, and we're on the look for our tasks because we still want the armada helmet and it's been like over a whole year or something like that since i got the that one heckin master clue step to get an armada helmet but still haven't gotten it yet so still trying to get it but need a slayer task to do kriar because that's the best way to do it because you get a lot of accuracy doing it but before i do that i'm gonna regain some cash tag just alk some stuff from all the loot i got from like Grawardor, the Slayer I was doing in between Grawardor, and we'll get there. So I'm going to go through Alk all of this, and then we have a Tortured Gorilla's task, and we still need to get Tormented Bracelet out of that, so getting a Zenite drop would be super cool. But anyway, I'm going to Alk all this, make some money back, and I'll see you at D Gorilla's. Huh, well, I don't know if you noticed in my inventory, but I just noticed right now, I don't have nature runes in my inventory, so I don't know how this icon's been on, however, but I know that I get 30 free high alchemies from my explorer ring, so I guess it automatically just goes in there? Alright, we'll just go grab some nature runes, I guess. That's new, never knew that was a thing. Oops, didn't notice, but 97 magic, do we get anything for that? Nope, we didn't get a single thing for that. Like, two more levels till 99 magic. And that is 13 or 2.5 more million XP to go. Yeah, and our cash stack is looking nice again. And that's the end of all I got. And, oh, I could do a whole pill. Mm, that's okay, yeah. That's all I got, I think. Or I probably should have checked my bank before I even did this. I'm pretty sure we have, like... 2.7 mil left in the bank right now 2.6 not bad but we just made 5.2 mil we currently have 4.5 mil inside miscellanea but let's go cap it off see what we get and then time to maybe go do slayer deposit max cash let's see how much it actually puts in 2.5 mil so we totally have 7.5 mil in there so we take out to 5.2 mil so we're over 10 mil, no we're not over 10 mil sadly, but our net worth is over 10 mil, well our net worth is higher, but in cash, liquid cash, it's not bad, over 10 mil. And we'll collect our resources now and we get, boom, a bunch of maple logs, a very little amount of bird's nest, and any, ooh, 118 Renars, nothing else too noticeable sadly. But a lot of mahogany logs to make some planks later in life, and fletching XP. Curbs could have been better, but that's pretty good. Let's see over by here by Lumo. We can read the gravestone. Here lies Nave, and we killed 309 demonic gorillas so far. And looking at the drop rate of a Zen or a Zenite is one in 300, and we got three of them in 300. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we're still missing the heavy ballista, but that doesn't really mean anything to us as iron people. So we'll just hope that we get a piece, and I think I remember how to do it. But if I don't, we'll just have to learn as we go. Oh, I completely to like acknowledge that this is the first time we're using the Bandos chest plate. Like, let him uh, switch back to his thing really quick, because she should be weak. I think she should be magic here. Or is it range? I'm bad. And look at that. Boom! Look, it looks so good. Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, I'm actually hitting a lot harder and a lot more accurate than. I thought I would be, but hey, pretty cool items. Uh, and we continue killing gorillas. Oh my jeebies. Hey, a uh, light frame. I don't really need it, 
But like I said, collection log, and it works us towards the heavy bl Oh, that's not even heavy bust. That's the light bluster. But I'm getting pretty good at this demonic gorilla thing once I actually get into the rhythm of it. It's, let's see, you walk towards me, we do that one. And just give it a second. So it starts with magic. So every time he's going to go raw, you basically just have to switch prayers down once. So a few more attacks. He should swap it, maybe. Come on, stop throwing rocks. To prove my point. There's 50 damage that we did, so we have to switch attacks. Do the raw. Raw, switch to this, switch to ranged. Oh, wait, never mind. Take everything. Take everything I said wrong. And we're back. Whatever, whatever I said. Oh wait, no, I'm right. I'm right. It's in whatever rotation it actually starts in. So it went from magic to melee, and now it went to range. So next one, it should go to magic. Pretty sure. Magic. Magic. Come on. I'm just prove my point. I'm not gonna attack. Okay. See, I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Well, see, I could just be straight wrong with how the, they're rotating, but it feels. I'm, I'm just gonna say that I know it when I actually don't, but you know, take, yeah, you know, yeah. Task over. A very low on scales is the, all the scales I got left, and no Zenite, but we got two light ballista frames. But yeah, whatever. To Rodelic greater humans. That's XP, not in the mood. Let's skip it. 245 Basilisks. That's a very long task, but we could AFK that. We can finally get the jaw that we're like super over the drop rate for. And we also can have, where is it? Where are those Basilisks? We have three Basilisk heads. That's three chances of getting the Basilisk jaw to make our highest strength helm. But you know, it'll come eventually. We're like only at like a thousand something hundred kills and one day. Maybe I try melee. Would you look at that? A use case to use the Fremnik boots for easy teleport to Fremnik so I can walk over to the Isle Stone. Also, I think I remember we have the two extra blocks from the Lumber Jelly Diary we could apply onto a Slayer, but I don't know what to block yet. Uh, maybe Bathless once we actually get this jaw, but who knows how long that'll take. I have this clue scroll I'm going to do before return to Basilisk just for like a little bit of tonight. But apparently I don't have a Mystic Fire Staff and I probably awked it a long time ago. But I, if you bring a normal Battle Staff to Thormac, I think I'm just going to use it. I don't want to talk to you. Well, I guess he has to talk to you. Can you enchant my Battle Staff for me? And for 30,000 because I have the Hard Candor Diary or Elite Diary, one of those two, it will or Hard lets him enchant it for 30,000. So... Give me, oh, we can make some cool stuff. Uh, I should get a smoke battle stuff sometime, or I have no clue how that works, but battle stuff, wait, what does this do? I guess it just enchants it, but fire battle stuff, and it turns it into a mystic fire stuff. And now we finally have everything, and let's go do this clue scroll. I'm not going to open it, though, but I'm just stacking. We're at almost 2,000 kills, and we got a longbone. It's... Not the same drop rate as the jaw or the basilisk head, and hopefully I don't get another basilisk head, but at least we're on that drop table with the basilisk jaw. Now we just gotta hope that in the last 100, we get it. Nothing like another 6-7 hour basilisk task making our total 2072, which is 2 times the drop rate, and we have 3 basilisk heads, which are the same drop rate as the jaw, so... Give us a task. I'll take thermonuclear smoke devils because we've never gotten that before. And that can get us the occult necklace, which would be our best mage necklace. And avian. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Okay. Let's go. That's Kree Ara. And we have about 1,000 something chin chompas too. And we got the chest plate. The chances are are good we have 1088 so i guess i could afk chinchampas again but currently let's see commander zillion not zillion kree are raw kree 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 107 do i have faith i don't know can i hope yes that's probably like six kills every trip i mean six kills every run divided by six that's almost like 80 kills we can do not bad. Just doing some sidetracking and I need more scales for my Trident Swamp and the blowpipe, so 
I was just doing some Zora and then I used my anti venoms, but anti venom plus would make it last for three minutes versus having it last for only 40 seconds. So having that upgrade with using a boost from the Galvanova pants would be actually pretty good. And I don't know, I might just sit here for a little bit while make a decent amount of just botanical pies because boosts are always nice and these herbal levels are only going to get slower. Like once we get to 93, we can boost up for divine super combats and getting a super extended anti-fire would also be pretty good, but kind of just nice. This actually might be enough for me, but we'll get to create our eventually. Each item is only one in 27 or 127, 100 and one in 120 cent for a random piece. So if we can get the pants, that's pretty sick. If we can get the helmet, we can continue. But if we get the pants, I might just bite the bullet and we'll do it off Slayer task because this massive clue has been sitting here for way too long. Oh, the, all my all my skills are just gone. My like half the skills I just got are all gone. But trust me, it's worth the investment. So we can grab a botanical pie right now. I think I have them here. Grab like twelve torstals, and then we grab the rest of our anti venoms. And yeah, see anti anti venom for like 40, 18 to forty seconds. Put this in. Oh, eat this. Get my boost. Put these in here. Now we have the best anti-venom in the game three minutes so that probably means one dose per kill so i could get to two to four kills a trip versus like one to two every single time because i have to take two anti-venoms so all oh, in it gives us free inventory space super worth it now let's go get some more skills still sorting my inventory and i think we we're probably going to bring the crystal shield because just having extra defense is nice i don't fully remember what we did last time but maybe <laughs> this guy's squirming but we had 466 charges on this, so we throw this onto there, put all of it, and we have 1,600 charges and 350 chinchampas because I think that's how much you usually lasts us a run. And our suffering's also on as well. So let's go do some Kriar. And we only have three ecumenical keys, so we'll see what we can do this morning. Let's hope I set this up properly. That's not a good start, but okay. Click on Cree. Attack small guy. Click on Cree. Oh, I messed up already. Small attack guy. Big Cree. All right, I'll, I'll get. I'll, I'll get this tempo again. This is terrible right now. That's actually just two kills, and I'm probably gonna get out of here. Uh, that's rough. That's rough. Change color to green. I was messing up earlier too, but now it should be okay in the future, but hey, two kills, not wasting any more of these Slayer kills on the minions right now, not terrible. Gotta change my inventory though, messing up too much. Oh, only another two kills, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Am I just messing up somehow again? This is hard. Gosh, I hate this boss. I hate this boss so much. Why can't we just get the helmet, dude? Does the... <laughs> four kills in one trip, though? Five? Maybe five? I don't know, man. Okay, okay. You gotta be actually kidding me. I just, I, I decided to kill a basilisk knight instead of a normal basilisk for the clue scroll for this elite clue scroll. And I get a curve bone, which is a 1 in 5,013, where the basket straw not on task is 1 in 5,000. So now I am four times over, four, two, three times over the drop rate, or two because of Slayer kills, but I have four chances I could have gotten the jaw, and I didn't get the jaw. Uh, I hate Basilisk Knights. Nothing's worse than accidentally teleporting to house that using bows and peaches. That was just that was just two kills. That was, that was just two kills. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, go boy. Oh boy. One nineteen. Okay, okay. I know we're spoon, but oh, dude, the Armadol's just so annoying to do. He's just so, he's just so annoying. But oh boy, oh boy, it's been over. A year of all, like, or probably over a year, but on and off to Slayer just to do Armadillo task or looking for the Armadillo task. But okay, let's put this on real quick. We get seven plus range on the Slayer. Well, the Slayer doesn't really care because we get the 15% accuracy and damage anyway from it. But oh, okay, let's aim over here, get a nice little background. Uh, take one more step, I guess. Put on the Armadillo helmet. 
<laughs> it's so dumb looking, but it's also the coolest. Okay, turn these into peaches because I'm starting to keep all of my peaches inside my boss tab. But okay, okay, Master Clue, Show Fellow Bard, a armadillo helmet, and we own one. Dude, where's. Super spin, super spoon. Let's see, let's see. Kree Ara. 119. We have the chest weight and the helmet. Definitely one of my current least favorite bosses. I know later on when I get stronger, it'll be a lot easier, but currently, one of my least. Okay, let's go do this clue scroll. Also, before we put this in, this is going right where the Zamrak Coif is. Place it there. We move this Zamrak Coif, I think, to this tab over here. Is my Sarah Chaps in here? Sarah Chaps in tab eight. Did I just move into tab nine? Put it in tab eight with my other clue scroll stuff. I think that's how I organize this. And bam. Armadillo helmet obtained. Oh. All right. Fallow the bard. Here's the armadillo helmet. Take a good look at it. And your song is completed. Now. Oh! Okay, wait, that was actually the last task for this casket. How many caskets do we have for master clues? Let's see, master, we have three completed. And we have a few more chests inside the bank. So let's just open it all together for just, just to make it a little interesting. Run on over here. Let's grab our two elites, our four hards. Put on this helmet, stand over here. Or stand up. Yeah, stand here. This is good. Next to lamp this. And let's start with our hard caskets. And uh, where's my sound? Where does my sound work at all? Oh, there we go. And nothing. I don't think we're expecting anything from this, but anything is cool. Two collection logs, bandas, coif, and galaxy plate body. Cool. Collection log. Elite caskets. Oh, okay, a master clue. I doubt we'll be able to do it, but we'll see what we do. And then if we need to, I mean, there's a chance of getting a master clue casket from a master clue from this elite casket. So let's go see what follow wants first. Lava dragon bones. Easy. Let's go get it. Good day. We got a lamp too on the herb lore. Now let's go get those lava bones. Took some time, had to buy some stuff and we finished the casket, so we're gonna open the elite casket and we get oh ooh, a mimic. I haven't done a mimic in a while. Let's go see if I can remember how to do it. A little bit of struggle, but that's okay. And do I just click this straight search this? Or okay, I just click this and we open the mimic and we get nothing as usual. Wait. Oh, okay. Mimic adds a little extra reward. 500 blood runes. Now for the master caskets. What did I expect? Oh, wait, for all right, whatever. And the last casket we get Samurai Greaves. I think nothing else is too important here, but hey, collection log and cool fashion skit. I'm gonna try some RCS blood rune crafting because might as well. I mean, we're death runes and blood runes and soul runes are usually the ones that would just burn out the fastest, but. I might just make some blood runes for a while, see how easy it is. Because everybody kind of just does that all the way to 99, kind of AFK. But where are low on death blood runes in? I could always just buy death runes or Guardians of Rift actually outputs a good amount from like the intricate rune pouches. Soul runes, we'll figure it out. But anyway, we have this Abyssal Lantern Redwood, and that's good in Guardians of Rift because our essences or our rune pouches don't degrade, but. If we're doing anything outside, we need to use magic logs on these in. We need six magic logs, so five more. And I just cut a few more redwoods if I ever, ever want to just turn it back on. So turn on the magic log as a funny animation. Now we look good. So now let's go do some blood room crafting and I'll just keep it in my inventory. Probably do that for like a few hours today. I could be doing this completely inefficiently, but so we grabbed a bunch of death essence blocks from the mine nearby, put them on the altar. It'll take a bunch of our prayer po points and we just gotta just chip them while is it each individual one. Uh, how do I check? 20 
fragments. And I just chip it, and we're going to walk all our way to the false blood altar over here, and then we're going to just pass it onto there. And I don't remember how many runes there should be per thingy, or I probably should just be walking this and be AFK, but still figuring it out. Let's go see how many runes we make with 108 essence pieces. Now that we're here, 108 pieces, or we just click on bind altar, and we made 174. And that's an elite task, did not know that. But 174, not bad. And we do this nonstop. Maybe there's a better way of like mining than turning it into essence. And then I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And that's about an hour of Bloom or blood room crafting and we made 2100 which ain't that bad so not the best x or it's decent xp kind of slow kind of afk but kind of fun 2100 made the dental death for two kills but that's okay I, mean, I gotta see the draws it wasn't anything important so that's all that matters oh yeah i completely forgot the worst part about dying is that you don't keep your chinchampas so i lost like another 300 chinchampas and i died a while ago or like yesterday or something like that and i lost another 350 chinchampas so i usually get like 300 chinchampas an hour or something like that so just an hour lost every time i die but it is what it is lovely 100 silver ore drop which is one in 1000 because it's on the rare drop table instead of giving me an item even though i'm very lucky already a good old one in 400 longbone too for the books Okay, for science, does the bones the peaches turn long bones into peaches? If it does, sucks to suck. If it doesn't, cool. Oh, it doesn't. And I misclicked eating a restore versus a sprue instead. Eh, still fun getting hang of it again. That was a five kill trip only a bunch more to go the only things we want really is if we can get the pants again or not again but if we could get the pants pet cool hilt cool but the pants are what we really want and then i guess eventually i mean we'll we'll probably keep doing this boss every time we get this task anyway until we get the complete log i forgot to eat i let him hit his max hit with magic that's another 250 chin chomp is gone and i am Basically, out. I died three times in like an hour. Eh. 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 Time to go get some more chinchampas. Maybe I try black chinchampas. Fairly chill, just I don't want to die spending like an hour or 30 minutes here and just losing all that time, losing these chins I gained. So I'll probably bank maybe every 150 or so. Probably. That's maybe like half an hour. Yeah, I'll try half an hour. I should theoretically be able to survive as long as I don't get teleblocked. Other than that, hope for the best and let's see how many chains we get, or maybe every hundred, who knows. At least it's finally here. We'll put this on, put this on. Actually, it's waste of time. Oops, I was not paying attention, but that's 88 Hunter. Anything out of it? Nope, just a Hunter level. And we have the Hunter skill now with the Varlamore expansion. We'll probably visit it eventually. I don't know when, but we'll be there. Where is it? Ramja? This thing over here? No, it's part of the Karend, isn't it? I'll move this back over here. Uh, Isle of Souls, Feldip, Karend. Here it is. Kingdom of Barlamore. We'll head there eventually. Ooh, another pair of dragon boots. I don't know how long it's been, but it's... <laughs> the amount of spiritual mages I probably tagged and just been grinding for economical keys here just to get another pair of dragon boots been a while but hey we have a bank placeholder now as long as i don't get peaked well there goes like an hour and a half of my chinchampas that's or not an hour and a half maybe an hour but uh, that's all my fault whatever yeah it's whatever but that's kind of sucks because i was literally like five minutes away from ending my entire thing that was what 100 something chinchampas 180 so let's see how much he actually makes up that when he black chinchampas Hey, you made 600k out of that. Sucks for it. Oh. Meh. No oh, man, I teleported. Well, that's a hundred black chins gone. And that was one. Okay, start from 31 to 36. Six kills. 
six kills for a hundred something chinchampas. Could be worse, but I don't know. Get this task over with. Oh my gosh, that's just a waste of a key. I just went in here without any chinchampas. Eh, we'll see how far we get with just purely just taking it through with our crossbow setup. Oh gosh. Five kills, no chinchampas. Not bad, it's like actually just how many kills I get with chinchampas sometimes, so... Uh, the more you know, uh, 97 more AFNCs, only like, like... Few more trips left, just gotta get more keys every once in a while. Five, six kill? I don't know the count, but... Slowly gain the rhythm. I'm running out of food before per potions though. He a duplicate. I think if we got, I don't remember which shard it is, but if we got one more shard of the one we need, we make an actual god sword blade, and then we just need a hilt, and then we get our first god sword thing. Wait a second, I just realized we got that drop from the melee minion, not even Kriara, and looking at my collection, well not my log, but my loot tracker on the side, we got like so many shards from Light Callista, the melee guy, and they're each one in one in fifteen hundred, so super lucky on that end. But no other items from Kriara. I mean, we're ahead of the drop rate, but I'm gonna keep complaining. I want to be spooned. This boss is tough for me. E more placeholder dragon boots. Coolest one of the cooler boots. Missed another hunter level, but that's eighty nine hunter to begin any. Oh wait, redwood bird house traps. That's pretty. And can catch lucky implings. Red house bird trap, redwood bird house, red wood bird houses. I don't have any redwood trees. I'm not 90 wood cutting it, but we'll get there. A one in one hunt, a one in 400 long bone. And we're almost at the end of the task. And that's the last Kriara kill we're going to do for this trip. And I'm actually pretty happy because we actually got the item and we are spooned, but you know, we'll be back. We need to get the pants and that was like a 12 kill trip and I was felt really good. Like. You wouldn't expect it from me. That I would, I'd never thought I'd do another 10 kill trip. I might have done it in the past, but definitely didn't feel like it. But kill the melee minion. Grab the bones while I can. Turn them into bones of peaches. And task is over. Now let's go see what our next task is and see what to do from here. I swear, I probably should just... I, I should grind out 89 runecrafting, but it's just so long to do. So I could get the Crown Jitter Gloves 4 and I could teleport straight to here rather than walking all the way from the gem mine to here. But, you know, that's down the ways. And Dirtle, what do we get? Greater Demons, not a task that I really care about, but that's AFK. But anyway, I think I'm going to end it here. Let me go to the bank really quick because we've been on this. I, was, I double checked. I said like over a year, but... I think the recording of when I first got the Master Clue Scroll was about six months from now, or six months ago from, I don't know how long ago it's been since I posted the episode, but six months is what's on the file. And we finally got the Armadil helmet for that Master Clue, and we got nothing for our troubles. And we're just missing the pants now, it's something that we still need to do. We probably need to get more chins, because I could get the Baby Chinchampa pet which would be super fun. Is it a skilling pet? Yeah, baby chin, chin chompa. So it gives us a reason to keep doing Kriara so we could actually maybe get the pet. And finally over for this thing. I feel kind of lost on Slayer now. I think we just do Slayer just to do Slayer now. But we still need a Thermonuclear Smoke Devil to get the Occult Necklace, which would be our best in slot magic necklace. And we got to get the Hydra so we can just get some weapon upgrades. But there's still a lot of other stuff that we're still haven't really gotten to do properly or as oftenly as we can so well that was for free we only have we don't have a massive clue in our bank i'm just holding on to this until we get an elite clue scroll so then i could just turn it into a massive clue scroll because you could turn in each tier of the scrolls to get a massive clue from sherlock and there's nothing really we want from hard caskets nothing really i don't think i think we might need a bando's chest plate but we, we don't have it, whatever. But we could get Master Clues so we could have chances of getting the cool rare stuff from the treasure, tra treasure trails. Wow, I cannot speak. But anyway, we got the helmet and it looks funny, but it's all worth it.
But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.